Hi, it's Jeff Schofield, UK Plant Operators Magazine. Uh, I'm on my way to meet with Brahini, uh, Brahini Civil Engineering. They've invited us along to their A45 project in Coventry. So take a look, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, we love working with Brahini and uh, we'll see you next time. Tom Brennan, I'm site agent for Brahini Civil Engineering. We're currently at the A45 Eastern Green project in Coventry. So as from behind us, we've got a grade separated junction with the A45. So two accesses on the eastbound and the westbound carriageways. And over bridge, there's about two and a half kilometres of access roads, about six kilometres of foul and storm drainage, 20 kilometres of services, three custom built box culverts, and it's freeing up development for housing infrastructure. And how many houses are going to be built on site? Uh, approximately two and a half thousand. So the aim of the grade separated junctions is to minimise the impact of those additional houses on the flow of the A45. There'll be um, recreational pitches, schools, a bit of commercial development, um, community centres. So Brahini started the early contractor involvement in around February 2021. Um, we had initial work started March, February, March last year, with a full project start in June last year. Completion date is scheduled for March 2024. So yeah, some of the, that is a major challenge was working both sides of the A45 whilst ensuring the A45 stayed open. Um, it necessitated probably more plant than we'd usually have um, just, just to facilitate that. But it's just working methodically and safely. Um, we made it critical to the guys that they don't walk across that road. So everyone is transported in the morning and they'll come back. There's separate welfare units on that side for them to have their breaks in. So working along some of the tie-ins as well as the bridge abutments, Seven Trent Water had some large 700 mil diameter water mains feeding Coventry. There was strong restrictions on working nearby to them in the volume and vibration that we can induce. So we had specialist monitoring equipment. When we were working nearby to them, we were making sure the vibration with high and low level alarms didn't exceed those vibration limits. So we've got the two abutments have been built and cast, one late last year and one early spring this year um, with, our, with our subcontractor. So the bridge steels themselves are two braced pairs, each weighing in excess of 65 tonnes. So early August, we'll take ownership of the A45 for four days, a full road closure. We'll have a 500 tonne crane, which will lift the beams into position. So we're now stood at the south abutment, looking towards the north side of the works. You can see into the distance where you've got the vans. That's the eastbound merge and diverge roundabout. Leading into the site, we've got GAM Civil Engineering, who are our drainage contractors. So they've installed all of the drainage, foul and storm on site, as well as doing the road construction. The embankment fill, constructed by RJT Excavations, comes up behind us and leads behind to the north abutment. At the moment, what the guys are doing now is installing some storm drainage. We've also got the labour controlled by Richard Jones from Brahini Civil Engineering, who are constructing the reinforced, the RE walls. So we're now at the point of the south abutment. Um, early, the first weekend in August, we'll take a full row closure of the A45. So that's a four day closure. That gives us enough time to rig the crane, lift the beams and de-rig the crane. Um, we'll take ownership on a Thursday and hand back to the residents on Monday morning. The bridge itself is a 39 metre single span integral bridge. What that means is there's no bridge bearings. The steels will land directly on this abutment and it all gets encased in concrete. Any movement is in your series 600 fill behind the wall. It's a 6N with a low shear strength to allow any movement forward and back is in the material itself. So this bridge provides access from the eastbound carriageway. Traffic will leave at the merge diverge roundabout, up the embankment, over the site and into the development behind us. Yeah, so as um, considerate contractors, it's important that whatever work Brahini does protects the environment rather than damages it. Um, so during initial stages, we had involvement with nesting birds, and badgers, deer, um, the existing flora and fauna on site. So we have to make, ensure that our work don't damage those. Um, working with OSSO, we identified silt mitigation measures. We have the Pickford Brook that runs behind us and through the middle of the site. So working with them, we established silt fencing, silt curtains and their wastewater treatment system, which ensured that any surface water runoff was captured and treated before it left the site. Yeah, so we're currently stood in, in, in our borrow pit. So this was identified during the 
in this phase is as part of the tender to us that the material will be one on site from here. So we've generated in excess of a quarter of a million cubic metres of class one and class two fill, which has gone and used in the road filling the embankments. Um, that's, that's removed around 30,000 vehicle movements onto and off of site. So RJT Excavations, our earthworks contractor, stripped the topsoils, stripped any subsoils and overburden, and it exposed the sandstone material. This was then broken out and crushed. They had a 50 ton Finley crusher, crushed and screened to make the class one fill. So I'm in and amongst some of the sandstone that's remaining. So as part of our works, we excavated a quarter of a million cubic meters of material from here. Um, which generated a saving of, of 30,000 vehicle movements into site. So this is some of the sandstone that's remaining. Um, we're looking at potentials with Coventry City Council for the use of these as, um, as protection measures for some of their parks in the local area. The borough pit itself, once completion of our works, will be restored back to original ground level. The tops will then be placed back over the area and it will be used in the future for the residents as, as sports pitches and recreational areas. Uh, yeah, so I'm leaning up against the mammal shelf, so this is installed above the one in a hundred year flood level and it allows animals, badgers, otters to traverse the culvert without getting their feet wet during, during floods. Um, the culvert itself, these are three and a half metres by three and a half metres culverts. Um, they were manufactured by Poundfield and we used a 75 ton Komatsu excavator to install these. Each culvert weighs in excess of 11 tonnes. So they landed on the ground and then they're pulled home and seated. It was GAM Civil Engineering who installed these for us. So our, our client on this project is Coventry City Council. Um, been brilliant to be fair, they've got a permanent on-site presence, so any issues that we have, it's straight next door, knock on the door, talk to Ian and his team, we'll come up with a solution and then draft up a formal response. We have an open plan office, so we share our office with our subcontractors GAM, RJT, and had it not been for COVID, Ian and his team would have been in there as well.